Hey, you YouTubers. This is Brandon. I went at my locals with Chainburg. Let's go to the monsters. Three shift scarecrows. They allow me to stall. I can discard them from my hand in to end my opponent's battle phase. Two lava golems. Oh my god! This card's good because it allows me to tribute my opponent's monster to get him on the field on his on my opponent's side of the field, by the way. And each turn, my opponent's going to lose a thousand because of him, unless they get rid of him. Then he on the Time Lord. This guy's broke. He can't be destroyed by card effects. When he declares attack, or is attacked, he bounces all my opponent's monsters, and all my monsters, and inflicts 300 damage for each card sent to hand. He's really good. I'm probably going to add another one of him. Three Reckless Greeds. Really good for drawing. If I activate two of them, their effects don't stack, so I draw four cards, and I only have to wait two turns to draw again. But I usually have other draw cards to help me, so it's not always that big of an issue. It can be bad sometimes. Accumulated fortune. When I activate it as a chain link four or higher, and I believe it can only be activated at chain link four, I get to draw two cards. Sometimes it's a little bit dead. I'm probably going to bring it down to two. One threatening war. My opponent can't, dec can't declare battle on the turn that's activated. Two draw greeds. Draw one card. Two legacy Ayata Garasus. Same thing as draw greed. Um, but I can draw two of my spirit monsters in the field, so maybe I'll get lucky. Three secret barrels, 200 for each card on my opponent's side of the field and in their hand. It's one of the main burn cards of the deck. Three Wabakus. It's a good card. Probably going to cut out Threatening War. Two Ojama Trios it helps out with just desserts and secret barrels. By the way, three just desserts, 500 for each card on my opponent's side of the field. End games. <laughs> Two dimension walls. Basically, any damage I take is translated into my opponent's life points, meaning if they attack with a 3,000 guy, I don't take the 3,000, they do. I think it's better than Magic Cylinder because it can't be lanced. Plus, I'm not going to have any monsters on it, so when they declare the eject attack, it's going to work basically the same as Magic Cylinder. One scapegoat helps for stalling. One poison the of the old man. It's okay, card. I won with it before. He saw him, he saw him judgmented. And went down to 700 life points, and then I poisoned up low, banned him. So, he was mad. Two chain strikes. It's a great card. I can only activate it as a chain link two or higher. It inflicts 400 for each link it is. So, if I activate it as the fifth card of a chain link, it does 2,000. Three one day piece. It's a really good card in the deck. <coughs> it allows me to stall and draw an extra card. I can't take damage on the turn it's activated or on the opponent's turn after it's activated. Makes me do stuff. Three pot of dualities. <coughs> it's really good because it allows me to draw. Obviously, Chamber needs a lot of draw power. I'm probably going to replace some of these with card card D. For my extra deck, I have three MSTs. I lost my extra deck like a few days before winning. Otherwise, it would have like two Volcanic Queens, three MSTs, two Breakers, probably like three Prohibitions, maybe some Skill Drains or something. 
Um, I hope I find those cards. Sad face. Um, <laughs> I had a good time with the stack. I pissed people off. It was fun. Um, yeah. Bye. What? What'd you beat to win? Oh, I beat Insectors. Alright.